Theo Sultan here, and I just wanted to share some quick little magical tidbits that I picked up through my own experience, through my journey, um, and from my from my lessons that I received from my teachers. Um, so first and foremost, what I really love to do is I love to make the most out of any time, whether I'm you know conscious or unconscious. Um, so that includes sleeping with various crystals. Um, so if you're trying to improve your insight, you can sleep with a tanzanite crystal, Herkimer diamond, amethyst, chevron amethyst. These these ex these very evolutionary crystals just literally charge them, give them a job, slap them on your forehead, put some tape on it. I know it sounds silly, but it works miracles. Miracles. Um, after that, uh, make sure you do a little bit of grounding in the morning, right? Uh, there's also a lot to be said about color therapy. This doesn't just apply to candles. Um, it also applies to the sheets on your bed that you're using. So pretend, you know, you're really wanting to connect to your spirit guides in your sleep, or you're really wanting to connect to your ancestors in your sleep. So one thing you might do is first you put down a sheet, make it the color black. Black is of the north and for the ancestors. Then blue and then purple on top. So black is the ancestors, blue is communication and purple is spirituality and connection and vision, right? And so make sure when you're placing down that black sheet, you're saying you're calling your ancestors to please bless you um, and assist you in enchanting this sheet to have a clear connection to them. And then while you're putting down a blue sheet to enhance a clear connection and communication. And then the purple sheet to bring in spiritual insight and blessings of knowledge and wisdom as you sleep, getting here and now full medicine would it be. Right? Just weave in that spell work when you're just doing something as simple as putting down your bed sheets, right? It is amazing how much all these little steps will improve your life. Really, it's it's quite amazing. Um, another thing that I love to do myself is, depending on what I'm trying to improve or work on at the time, I have various um, tarot cards that I'll place as my uh, lock screen, or uh, let me show you guys, even my my uh, home my wallpaper, right? So here we have the Ace of Discs, and then this is the High Priestess. So what the tarot does, and symbolism in general, is it speaks very deeply to our unconscious and uh, to a soul level. Very deeply speaks to us. Um, and through repetition of seeing the symbol over and over and over again, it gets embedded into my unconscious mind, and it has different effects on it, both an internal and external level. Um, so this is just something that I'm wanting to achieve at this time. Um, so for say for example, you know, you're wanting more um, more money in your life, more financial abundance in your life. You could put um, you know abundance, the abundance card, and then wealth on your on your home screen. Or you could do, you know, the sun and abundance, right? Abundance of blessings and, and uh, finances, right? Things like that, just to add in, it added in, and it does go in, and it has these significant effects, especially if you do it with intention and energy, right? Another thing, again, depending on what you're going through, you could, um, online, go online, type in Gematria calendar, I'll put one in the description, um, G-E-M-A-T-R-I-A, -A, Gematria. Um, put in Gematria calculator, then in the website, type in whatever you're wanting. So for me, uh, I would put like something like divine healing, right? I punch that in there and it will convert those letters to numbers. And then you take those numbers and you make that your pin code for your phone. So every time you log in, you're typing in these numbers with intention and it, it's just very wonderful. All of these little things are quite exponential when applied properly. Um, another thing one can do is, a lot of people know about this, um, but this is to, when you're showering, shower with intention. It's um, it's very incredible and very crucial, I believe. Um, some very, very simple ones are, I call upon the cleansing waters, guarded by the sacred otters, hear my call one and all, hear my plea, please cleanse me. Um, and then just keep repeating that over and over and over again. The shower, it is visualized any and all muck going down the drain. We know with light, you know, you don't want you don't want the the energy to get stuck in the drains. So make sure you flush it down with some light, um, and then make sure you always say thank you, thank you, thank you afterwards. Uh, another one that I really do enjoy uh, the undines are the water elementals. So when I'm you know scrubbing my body or whatever, I'll say. Um, Undines, 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 please cleanse me, make me shine like the stars that be, right? Because, um, you know, we are the star, the five points, all right? Uh, so perfect balance, perfect health, tapping into the power, etc. Um, and the undines are just very, very, very benevolent in my experience. Um, love them, love them, love them, love them. Another one, guys, is praying over your food. 
Um, it's again, this is very stable, very elementary type thing, um, but it works in miracles. You know, giving your food a job. Um, for me, I'm I'm Reiki tuned, so I do Reiki symbols over my food. Um, I'll call in certain angels or guides and allies to bless this food and give a specific job, because um, each food correlates to a different element. Um, so, for example, let's say. Um, you know, watermelon, it heavily correlates to water and the earth, right? Um, so the emotions, healing and earth, grounding and stability, right? All that wonderfulness. So you can give watermelon the job to heal heal your body, to, you know, cleanse out any impurities, etc., etc. I also look at it a different way. You can look at the symbolism of it. Uh, say, for example, the hamburger, something as simple as as a hamburger. Ham cows have a lot to do with fertility and abundance, so you can bless and handsome chant this food to attract abundant financial prosperity to you. Um, there's just so much to do. Um, another very simple one is whenever you're going in and out of a door, say when you're, for example, you're opening a door. Well, as you open it, say, opening up new opportunities for me, and then when you're closing it, say, uh, shutting out negative external influences. Um, just little, little, just little things are very excellent. Uh, and the last one that quite a lot of people are doing, but I think more people should know about, is uh, enchanting your clothes. So, you know, every morning when I'm putting on my clothes, each each article of clothing has a different job uh, based on the colors, what material it is. Um, so leather, for example, is very uh, protective. It holds in energies well. Black is grounding, again, ancestral. This is brown, you know, again, earth, ancestral as well, the direction of north. Um, and then again, you know, more black, and I'm wearing blue jeans for communication. Uh, my socks, black for grounding, protection, you know, etc., etc. So you just go based off of that. Um, so, for example, if I was wanting to heal my uh, throat chakra, I would wear a lot of green and blue colors. Green for the healing, blue for communication in that area, right? So you just, just weave that into your day. And it, it's, it's truly wonderful just to put magic in everything you do. Uh, yeah, so give it a shot, guys. If this appeals to you, I'd love to hear your experiences with it. I'd love to hear what kind of new creative things you all come up with. So, yeah, look forward to hearing back from you. Thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed, blessed week.